So you might be wondering how do you start using the Lotus Lantern app here? What's the basics? Well, this one is pretty easy. So first things first is we want to install the actual app. Now to install that, if you're using an Android device, you want to go up and open up the Google Play Store and search for Lotus Lantern. Now in here, you want to go and just install this. And once you have this installed, you could go and just click on the open button and just wait for a while. Now, once the app is installed or once the app is open here, first thing you want to do is you want to go to the top left section of your screen, click on the tree bar icon here, and you want to go and just click on your devices section, click on the reload button. It's going to say allow Lotus to identify and connect or determine the relative position of nearby devices. Just click on the allow button here so that it can discover your devices. Now, if you go and just click on allow here so Lotus Lantern can actually turn on your Bluetooth for you, and it's going to turn on your Bluetooth. Wait for a while. It's going to choose while well using the app. And basically what it does, it automatically determines or connects your or connect your devices into the app itself. So you don't have to worry about it. Like you go and just click on the reload button here to reload and just see all the connected uh, devices. Now, in here, there are a number of things that you can do. So the five sections at the uh, or the five menus that you can see at the very bottom of your screen are going to be the settings so you could choose or set here to set the behavior of your devices now first is we have the adjust now if you want to change the color of your device here well this is how you do it now you can go and just go to the color wheel here the center actually describes what's the color that you've actually picked here now you can also choose presets and a lot more now also you have the option to turn on or turn off this or turn this off now if you click on the uh color picker at the top left if you don't want to uh, use a different one so if you prefer this format or if you prefer this format or prefer this one black and white or go back to the uh, format here you just need to click on the top left uh, color icon or format uh or color picker here as you see at the top left to ch change or see what color the or colors you could actually use or picker that you could actually use now you also have the styles here so if you want to determine what's the uh, behavior like if you want to have a static red start static blue static green and a lot more you can even change the uh, speed and the brightness as well now music here is a great way for you to basically uh, determine or like change the color of the uh, devices that you have right now depending on the music the speed or uh whatever music you're currently playing so it will automatically adjust to that well in this case it will need to record audio for your device in order for this to start working so you're going to choose the option here that well that says while using the app now go and click on allow and click on allow or don't allow here if you don't want to receive notifications and yeah so that's how you basically uh determine uh, or use music here to basically uh, adjust the uh, color or uh, behavior of your devices. Now, if you choose mic here, if you want to like uh, say or talk uh, to the device itself, so if you wanna uh, use, a, use your device to uh, basically adjust depending on how you're speaking here, well, this is how you do it. Now, you also have schedule here, which actually determines from the name, name itself, the schedule of your devices. Now, the schedule on and the schedule off section. So schedule on determines when the lights would or the devices would actually turn on or schedule off if or when uh, the device or the uh, devices they have right now would actually turn off. So yeah, you can go ahead and change that. Also at the gear top right here, you have your gear icon. So if you want to enable the shake option here. So if you do enable the shake function, so if you shake your phone, it will randomly pick a color for your app. But yeah, so those are the basics in order to start using the Lotus Thunder app. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.